And here we are again, we can see the tremendous organized movement of these radiating structures with all of the organized movement. This is chaos. How do these small, small, microscopic, less than a millionth of an inch creatures, maybe a tenth of a millionth of an inch creature, that's able to organize and coordinate their movement to get this stuff to uh, to have this tremendous coordinated movement. Here's another one of these structures, and we we'll see it hold it real still, and we can see the movement in here. Um, again, order out of chaos. How do these things keep themselves, and how do they make movement? Is a question. Uh, there's some interesting cells in here. We don't know what these guys are exactly. They have a large round nucleus. Apparently an empty vacuole type cell of some type. There's another one over here. And we can see these strange irradiated things going on and a tremendous amount of movement in this particular patient's mouth. Again, and we're going to move back away and we're just going to scan across the slide a little bit more. Back to some, this is all just plaque, pretty much boring stuff. Let's stand down here. Here's a here's a, a epithelial cell. Move on down some more epithelial cells here. But uh, now we're starting to get back into this area of tremendous, tremendous organization and movement again in here. Again, these very strange radiating situation with the chaotic organized movement. Don't understand exactly what we're looking at here. Be nice to know. I'm going to scan on down through this. Here's a very interesting cell. Uh, a very large nucleus and a very large cell. Here's another one over here. I don't know what these cells are with all these large nuclei. Maybe just a big amoeba. Uh, the way it moves, it looks like an amoeba. Look at this very interesting structure up in here. This patient hasn't seen a dentist in seven years. We have some huge, this is a very interesting cell. Right in here we see a tremendous long spirochete apparently trapped inside of this cell where it's entered. And there's also a, 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 a rod trapped in there as well. Some of these strange spinning type rods, but there's also spirochetes in there. Here again, tremendous coordinated movement. You get a wave-like action in these things. And the wave, as you can see, it's just waving, waving through that light and dark, light and dark. Some type of interesting coordinated micro-movements in these, in these, uh, these spirochetes. And we'll focus up and down a little bit so we'll get a little different view of it as we go through it. I'm focusing up and down now. This particular slide has been most entertaining to us in the sense that we get to see things in here that are really bizarre. You can see another one of these things with the spirochetes loose inside and, and some very rapidly moving uh, rods. But uh, look at the. Here's another area over here. I think we're going to have to. We'll move this guy back in over here. I'm sorry for the movement, but look at this area right in here. This ought to be enough to get anybody excited. That seems to have some type of very coordinated movement of spirochetes again. Some kind of uh, large ciliated organs moving in some kind of coordinated motion here. Which again is very, very interesting. This is a very sick puppy, this patient.